for dozens of karate competitors today. Their kicks and blocks did more than just help them get ahead in a competition. Video journalist Kyle Bloyd shows us how organizers of this karate tournament hope to help those affected by the March earthquake in Japan. Having a fundraising event, karate tournament to raise money for the Red Cross. There's a recent disaster in Japan, there's an earthquake and a tsunami. Um, estimated $300 billion worth of damage has been done. That's, that's pretty heavy, even, even for a major economical power like Japan. Being Mother's Day, it was a little bit of a, a hurl as well, but you know, still people found the time and the effort to get together, and it's, uh, it's for a good cause. In the afternoon, we have kumite, which is a free sparring you know, techniques against a partner. Uh, it's a three-point match. So the judges will be looking for effective techniques scored against their opponent, uh, and they'll have three opportunities to do that. So the winner the, will be the person who gets the three points first. Uh, I've been doing karate about 33 years, um, and uh, it's uh, and teaching probably for about the last uh, 15 years or so. My favorite moves are probably the kicks. I really like kicking. I don't know. It's just exciting, and I think it's a lot different than other sports and it's individual so it's not like it's your choice on how you how your outcome is sources say democratic representative